Hello, how are you today? This is Bong Soo Jung, Korean labor attorney. Today, I'd like to introduce one labor case related to the unpaid severance pay to foreign teachers. Uh, there is uh, one foreign uh, the school uh, located in Seoul. So, uh, they have they haven't paid the uh, severance pay to their teachers. The reason is uh, the school started uh, August, then finished uh, June the following year. So they have renewed their contract every 10 months. So all English teachers who worked there never completed one year completely. So company said they haven't worked one year fully so they are not entitled to the severance pay so some uh, foreign teachers who uh, was resigning uh, visited my office and claimed um, uh, I've been uh, I have repeated this uh, employment country more than four years or five years but they haven't paid the severance pay so also predecessors like uh, all other English teachers previously uh, company and uh, school never paid the severance pay so they asked whether it is uh, legally okay or not so I told them um, according to the Korean labor law the consecutive period uh, should it is uh, more than one year then they are entitled to severance pay so two months uh, exception um, the out of one year period also it has been repeated then uh, it should be regarded as a continuous service period so i told them so they joined for legal claim for unpaid severance pay so i represent them and the labor inspector um, uh, the handled, uh, I mean, they um, the in, the investigated each side. Then company claimed the same way what they said, but we submitted uh, some uh, like uh, government guideline. That is, uh, uh, some fixed term employee they repeat their contract every ten months, but. Uh, two months uh, uh, later, they renew their contract. In that case, um, the labor inspectors or labor ministry accepted. Uh, accepting two months, uh, all other periods should be regarded as a consecutive service period. So, uh, this lab, uh, labor inspector who investigates our case accepted our claim and um, the labor ministry ordered the uh, foreign school uh, and they had to pay severance pay. So this was a very uh, easy case but uh, it is commonly happened to many companies. So even public uh, organization they hire temporary workers for 10 months in order to not pay severance pay. So something it is a violation for labor law because um, like uh, if they uh, when they renew the country employment country then they had uh, some uh, recruiting process then uh, it is regarded that previous country is terminated and they hiding is a new even the same employee but uh, they took a process of uh, some hiring process uh, that means uh, it is a new employment uh, but if just the uh, country is renewed uh, after uh, two months uh, then they work the uh, 10 months uh, then they repeat the same way in that case uh, uh, it is regarded as a consecutive period for uh, every 10 months okay this all okay next time i'll, I'll like to introduce other cases thank you for watching bye bye